So we've just heard the judge summing up and instructing the jurors about how they are to decide whether the defendant in this case is guilty beyond reasonable doubt. The judge gave the jurors instructions about the standard of proof required for a verdict and instructions about who has the burden of proof in proving the defendant's guilt. These instructions are supposed to help the jury reach the correct verdict. Now here's the full version of these instructions as used in some jurisdictions in Australia. Onus of proof. As this is a criminal trial, the burden or obligation of proof of the guilt of the accused is placed squarely on the Crown. That burden rests upon the Crown in respect of every element or essential fact that makes up the offence with which the accused has been charged. That burden never shifts to the accused. There is no obligation whatsoever on the accused to prove any fact or issue that is in dispute before you. It is, of course, not for the accused to prove his or her innocence, but for the Crown to establish his or her guilt. A critical part of the criminal justice system is the presumption of innocence. What it means is that a person charged with a criminal offence is presumed to be innocent unless and until the Crown persuades a jury that the person is guilty beyond reasonable doubt. Standard of proof. The Crown must prove the accused guilt beyond reasonable doubt. That is the high standard of proof that the Crown must achieve before you can convict the accused. At the end of your consideration of the evidence in the trial and the submissions made to you by the parties, you must ask yourself whether the Crown has established the accused's guilt beyond reasonable doubt. In other words, you should ask yourself, is there any reasonable possibility that the accused is not guilty? However, the Crown does not have the burden of proving beyond reasonable doubt every single fact that arises from the evidence and is in dispute. The obligation that rests upon the Crown is to prove the elements of the charge, that is, the essential facts that go to make up the charge, and must prove those facts beyond reasonable doubt. I shall shortly outline for you what are the elements of the charge or the essential facts that the Crown must prove beyond reasonable doubt. In a criminal trial, there is only one ultimate issue that a jury has to decide. Has the Crown proved the guilt of the accused beyond reasonable doubt? If the answer is yes, the appropriate verdict is guilty. If the answer is no, the verdict must be not guilty. What do you think each of these instructions means? Take a moment to answer the questions that follow this video. We'll return in a minute to talk about these instructions in more detail.